Hello again, YouTube. Today, I'm going to be discussing something that's been probably dead for more than, I'd say, five years. But because I guess I'd do anything for clout now, I'm going to do it anyway. Today, I'm going to be saying, and in my opinion on what would happen between if Goku and Naruto had fought. Yes, I know all the music in the background, and my voice sounds a little hyper than normal, because it kind of is, after what I just saw. Which is, I'd like to say it, but I can't, it's for a surprise later. But anyway, let's get on to it. So, the Goku I will be using is Classic Z. And I use, to give Naruto the benefit of the doubt, I guess I will use Namek Saga Goku. Versus Team Naruto. Six past stage mode. Yes. So, because I'm going to give Naruto the benefits of his doubt, I will be highballing this man to the absolute qualities of everything that this guy has shown to us before. So, where do I begin? Oh, yes. He had gotten into a fight with. <clears throat> once and more than once actually before, he had gotten into multiple fights with Sasuke, who I say at this time is above mountain level, who Jiraiya is said to be around, so I'd put him at, I'd say, city level at this point in time, in base form. He can still transform into his 6th path stage mode and have Kurama on his side. <clears throat> You know what, skip it. Let's just go all the way to Adult Naruto. Ah, yes. Adult Naruto. Adult Naruto is capable to keep up with speed with... What's her name? I don't know, but... She had some really weird eyes. She had three eyes, kind of like Tien in a way. But I don't know. She was able to keep up with hair and Naruto and Sasuke. He kind of equal to her in a little way, but not too much. And she was able to actually cut the one in half, but I'm not sure. So that immediately puts Naruto at <coughs> moon level. Or, I'd say, small, very, very small moon level. <coughs> and now Goku, on the other hand. Ah, uh, yes, Goku. I just simplify all Naruto's power to the maximum. So now I'm going to over oversimplify Goku's power to the maximum by the Saiyan Saga. Well, let me just get a rundown on what Goku can do. At the beginning of Dragon Ball, Goku was able to throw a car and take multiple bullets to the face. He was also able to, get, to go up against and survive against multiple people who could have easily ended his life, like Cao Pai Pai or King Piccolo. King Piccolo said that he could destroy an entire city in all life of it if he wanted to. In fact, he was going to. So I put this Goku at the end of Dragon Ball at a large city level vest or continent level. Ah uh, yes. So after that, Goku had died since he sacrificed himself with Piccolo, so he could go train with King Kai and get prepared for the one year later when the Saiyans arrived. And so he trained with King Kai in. Everyone, and I'm pretty sure King Kai had a power level of around 3,000. So I also put Goku's power level at 3,000. So that's at best moon level. So Goku already is at very small moon level. <coughs> that's going to the actual Saiyan Saga. Goku is able to easily just one shot Nappo, who is able to deal with all of Earth's forces, especially Piccolo. Who was able to destroy the moon in like three to four seconds? So he's obviously at light speed and small planetary level. And Goku still just knocked the lights out of Nappa and then got into a fight with Vegeta. And when he multiplies his power to, to Kaioken, his power gets to 16,000. And Vegeta, time and time again, was stated to have a power level of 18,000. And it's always stated that he has a power level of 10,000 to destroy a planet. So Goku at this point in time is above planet level, while Naruto is at, I'd say, moon level. If you highball him, he's also at planet level. So you know what? Let's highball, like how I did. We're gonna highball him to the maximum. Let's, let's say, let's 
said this man is at star level. He completely just destroys Goku. Yep, let's just use that. Even though he doesn't. Let's just hide him anyway. <clears throat> Yo, it's because Naruto was able to keep up with Kagi and Madara. He's immediately star level, I guess. Because why not? <clears throat> and he just blows out Saiyan Saga Goku. Fast forward <clears throat> a few months later, Goku gets to Namek and has total of 90,000 base form, I think. Then he can multiply that times two and go Kaioken and have a power level of around 180,000, I'm pretty sure. And this Lamonic just straight up. How do I say it's not getting the monetized? Oh, uh, yes, completely destroys Ginyu in a punch. So it's not really that fair. Poor. <laughs> And if Goku's already at a power level of above 100,000, I put him at at best dwarf star level because Frieza in the first one was going to have power level of 530,000, yada yada yada, in base form, destroying Planet Vegeta is 10 times greater and more denser than Earth, or yada yada yada. And Frieza's only, I'd say, five times stronger than that Kaioken Goku, at best. But hey, I'm making it oversimplified, so... Don't go with your pick with your forks and pictures and swords or whatever, don't attack me. And just remember that I'm highballing Naruto to star level, so just give him the benefit of the doubt, like, pouring all that highballing on top of Naruto's. All of them. <clears throat> and by this point in time, yeah, so Goku's at dwarf star level, I put Naruto at regular star level, if not higher, because why not? I don't give a fuck. <clears throat> and so, Goku, after getting his body switched and getting beat up, he goes into a little health chamber and gets over a thousand times stronger. I believe, over seven thousand times stronger, I believe. I'm not really sure, and I don't remember that much. But well, he's definitely, he definitely got a thousand times stronger, so easily he's above Dwarf Star level. And he can maximize his power Kaioken times 20, having a power level of 60 million, and in base form, 3 million. So he's easily above Star level. And then I put him, put him in Super Saiyan, at best I put him at, like, large Star level plus? Yeah, I put him around that, lar that level, because he's around cooler who also was about to destroy the planet, and destroy the sun. Who then absorbed the sun, kind of, in a really weird way, and had to be getting star with him. I'm, it's confusing, but, hey, <clears throat> I guess Super Saiyan Goku from the Namek Saga just, at this point in time, even if you highball Naruto to the max, still die, sadly. I'm sorry, Naruto, you have to get this. But hey, I highballed you to the maximum. I made you a benefit of the doubt, made you star levels, pour all that highballing on you, you still get beaten by Namek Saga Goku. Sucks, I know. But hey, that's just how life is, am I right? <clears throat> so, anyway, carry on. So, in my conclusion, Goku actually stomps on Naruto, who's not highballed. But you know what? Let's put a, let's let's put Team Naruto up against Kid Goku because why not? Yeah, let's let's do that. Kid Goku, on the other hand, playing with Mr. Popo during his fight with King Pickle, I mean Piccolo Jr. was able to run faster than lightning. And the same Goku was after he fought King Piccolo, who said he was above continental level and to easily destroy life from the planet. But he didn't. And he also made Piccolo day. But I guess I became Goku day, apparently, somehow. So yeah, that happened. And Goku now is above large city level, if not continental level. And, on top of that, can now run faster than lightning. Naruto in the very, very early stages was able... Naruto, like, a lot of characters in Naruto early were much, much faster than sound. 
Some are even faster than light, than like early Naruto. Probably like Kakashi. Yeah, Kakashi and the meaning of Naruto. I'd say easily above light speed, but hey. Let's highball Naruto. Let's just highball him. And also make him apparently above light speed already. This 11 year old kid is already at light speed. And I don't know if you know or anything, but um. Light speed is a whole lot faster than lightning. So I guess this highball this kid Naruto and Team Naruto actually beats this kid Goku and goes into a team. You know, when he's 15 and um. Swim around the earth in a few hours. Yeah, I don't think uh, Naruto can has that much durability to do that. But Naruto still in strength and speed. If you high volume to the maximum, which is above also above continental level. Yeah, let's put him like that. Continental level with him, which is a little higher. So it is that. <coughs> and let's put a let's put Team Goku in here finally. Team Goku, I don't have to play with Red, I'm pretty sure. Fast, fast, and the light, yada, yada, yada. Goku, Raven, fast, and the light, yada, 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 yada. Let's use the same Team Goku who fought King Piccolo. I mean, I'm sorry. Piccolo Jr. I am so used to saying King Piccolo. It's actually insane. <coughs> King. There I go again. Piccolo Jr. was above his King Piccolo father, who is easily above continental level. So let's put him because you know King. Pi I mean, there we go. Piccolo just destroyed a moon in like three or four seconds with a simple key blast. I'm not sure why Goku can't do that either, but that's him amount of time. So yeah, let's put a let's put a Goku. On uh, Snake Way at around moon level, cause that'd be nice. Cause I was lowballing Goku this whole, this whole time. So let's also highball Goku. Because why not? Let's go above moon level. Because who's above Piccolo at this point? Like, actually, a lot, a lot is stronger than Piccolo at this point. I mean, what's 3,000 compared to 400? We're not powering up the special beam cannon. We're not powering the special beam cannon somewhere in the thousands, I'm pretty sure. And Naruto, at this point, even though he has trained with a lot of masters, for instance, Kakashi or Jiraiya, who, because of Death Battle, who I just do not like at all, I was going to use their key anyway, because, yes, Death Battle's so right. You know, Jiraiya's at, <coughs> Jiraiya's at mountain level, if he's normal power scaling. Well, let's highball this dude to city level. Large city level. Yeah, let's put him to that level. It still isn't enough to beat Goku at this point. I mean, this is Goku. This is Naruto only in his teens. In base form! Naruto can still multiply his power with 6 pack stage mode and the Nine Tails. Goku can't do that at this point because he's still a teenager. And he hasn't learned the Kaioken yet. Sadly. <coughs> So if he does, Naruto in base form just in every way gets outclassed by this highballed Goku. But when Naruto transformed, he then has the upper hand against Goku because this Goku hasn't killed King Kai yet. Now let's use Saiyan on the Goku. You know the one who killed Kaio Ken. You know that one. So I've been confirmed like almost a billion times that Vegeta at this point in time was above planet level Goku. And Kaioken times three was above that, and you know, Kaioken times four, and beat him. Vegeta can also multiply the planetary power by times ten. But let's put, you know, what, let's put six pack stage mode at a thirty times multiplier. Yeah, let's do that. And Super Saiyan is only one point five times stronger than that because literally no reason at all. Or hey, maybe I'm just making up bullshit. I am. <clears throat> so, okay, so, base Naruto at this point already launched the Team Goku, so it's not that much of a match for Saiyan Saga Goku. Now, what happens if Naruto transforms? Mm, that's a different story. So, I'd put this Naruto at around Radix level. 
who again is faster than light, and at this point in time was, I'd say, moon level, or above that. In fact, he was greatly above moon level, because, you know, Piccolo showing the moon in three or four seconds, that same Piccolo is very, very much a below rank, like, a lot, actually. It's actually insane how strong Riot is compared to Piccolo. <laughs> At least at that point in time. <clears throat> hmm. So yeah, Riot is above moon level, so let's put Naruto above moon level. And Goku, still at this point, even in base form, is at small planetary level. And can multiply his power on top of that, making him full on planetary level. And if he somehow went, oh my god. And if he somehow, for some reason, went Kaioken times 3 or 4, he'd easily be large planet level. So, Saiyan Saga Goku, in the Kaioken times 3, Bollywops, this knowledge show, no matter what you say, and we both hype- I hype all the shit out of both of them. So, uh, don't get mad. I both give them the benefit of the doubt. So don't hate me. You know, let's get- let's get adult Naruto. Adult Naruto at this point in time is kind of like a Gohan, if you think about it. He got a whole lot- well, not a whole lot- he got- he just got weaker than he was before as a teen. Kind of like Gohan. But he was still able to keep up with easily infinite speed characters. Let's see, you see that infinite warp speed. So I guess he's infinite speed now, but he, he's not. But let's see that. <clears throat> he was able to keep up with that three-eyed girl, who is, at this point, is able to destroy it, cut the moon in half, no problem. I put Naruto now at... Low, low planetary. Yeah, let's put him at low planetary level. So if we're gonna put him at low planetary level, then that means that even base Goku, base Goku and adult Naruto, without neither of them transform transforming, are I'd say equals. But Naruto can still use a six pass eight mode, and we still have Naruto at. When you go through past stage mode, a 30 times boost. So he's above even the uh, uh, hypothetical Kaioken times 20 Goku at this point in time. Sadly enough. So he. If I highball the shit out of both of them, Naruto still wins this one. Sadly. But um, Goku isn't being highballed that much, so. If, if I were really giving Goku the Naruto shrimp right now, if I would really win that. He just, he, right now he just kind of, uh, clapped all of them. Just took a big old fat dump all of them. But let's not do that. Let's use the full power of regular Goku. And a high bolt Naruto. So Naruto at this point would be same type of Goku, yada yada yada. Okay, now let's go to... I think I've already explained the Namek Saga. Okay, so let's just use Super Saiyan Goku. Super Saiyan Goku at this point was above Final Form Freeze at 100%, who was over 100, if, if I'm not mistaken, over 500 times stronger than his base form. Which is, I'd say, at best, Dwarf Star level. Which is, I don't know about you, but I know it's very, 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 it's much, much, much higher than low star level. I mean, low planetary. Or planetary, like, in general. So, let's forget Freeze on this. Super Saiyan Goku is above that, so I put him at regular star level. Naruto, at still at this point in time, is only when he transforms into 6 past 8 mode. He's only at large planetary plus if you highball him. So sadly, or not so sadly, and more than unsurprising, even a highballed Naruto can't do much a bit against a also kind of highballed Goku, sadly enough. And this concludes my little TED talk with my viewers today, and all of you. I hope to see you in the next video, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.